So, I watched this yesterday, and, um, I cannot explain to you in words what a colossal piece of shit that this movie is. I don't even know if I could call this a movie. It's more, uh, just a bunch of montages, really. It's, um... Man, it is all over the fucking place, man. So, uh, pregnant wife choker, Ezra Miller, uh, who plays the Flash, is telling Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck on here, that he's going to try going back in time using the run force or whatever it's called, um, yeah, Barry uses his super speed to change the past. So he tries to run back in time. And uh, Batman is like, uh, no, we're not going to do that because uh, you're going to destroy everything and cause a big mess and all this and blah, blah. And Ezra just is like, whoa. Fuck you, I'm going to go save my mother. So then he goes and runs to the past. And he tries to save his mother. And fails again. And then the other him is there. And if you think having one Ezra Miller is, an, is, is bad enough, try dealing with two of them. I mean, this guy is insufferable. He is just... Just god awful, man. So he realizes that going back in time and that he should have listened to Bruce, that of course he fucked everything up. So now there's no um, superheroes or, or superheroes with powers. All there is is like Batman and then uh, Supergirl who looks nothing like Supergirl that we've ever seen before or anything, just a god-awful rendition, but because of diversity and inclusion and all that garbage, they uh, put this... That, that poor actress, man, that gal was pretty hot, man. Like, I don't know why they did all this to her, but... Um, so anyways, uh, the Flash tries to... Um, Organize a team because, of course, Zod comes, and this is supposed to be when Man of Steel happened. And uh, there's no Man of Steel to fight, so he comes here looking for Supergirl. And for some reason, the Russians have Supergirl trapped in a Kryptonian uh, cage or something. It's just so shitty. So, uh, first off, he tries to recruit Batman, Michael Keaton... And then he doesn't want to do it. And then he says, okay, let's do it just because of reasons. So then he joins them and they all try to go and fight Zod. And I just, this is brutal, man. This movie is such fucking garbage. So Supergirl on here gets her ass beat three times in a row. She gets stabbed a bunch of times. And you keep thinking she's dead, but she just keeps coming back to life. And then Batman, who has no powers, is fighting Kryptonians and kicking their asses. But then they zerg him and kill him. So that Batman dies. Just god awful, man. Just a god awful movie. Pieces, piece of shit, man. So I can tell you. So, anyways, um, after all of this, after the big war, and they finally beat Zod, and then uh, Barry tries to fix time. And him and the other one, the, him and the other Barry are arguing about, no, we can still fix this and make things right and all this. And it's just so ridiculous, man. The whole thing is just such garbage. And um, 
So the two berries are like, I guess, in the time highway or something. They're like in some like arena that's like showing all the multiverses. And this was the only awesome thing in this entire movie. They show Christopher, a CGI Christopher Reeve and Supergirl, the original one, the real Supergirl, not this thing, uh, staring through the portal looking at, at the two flashes, like what's going on? I'm like thinking... Are they going to fly through there and fight or what? Like what? They're just like, oh, what's this? And then um, we see Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nicolas Cage as Superman fighting uh, a gigantic spider in some other universe. And I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. It was just very weird. And then you see like all the other variations of... Um, Superman and Batman and um, just there's just there, there's just like it, it it goes through history like they have Adam West they show all of them on there so then this other um, this other Flash shows up and I can't remember what what his name is I think it was Reverse Zoom or something or some other guy and they got to fight him. And then he ends up stabbing one of the one of the berries, and then Barry uh, figures out how to fix the time back, but it's not fixed. It's just like a. I mean, this movie has more more plot holes than the Last Jedi. I don't, I didn't think it was humanly possible for that to happen, but it did. So Barry returns back to his universe. And then he sees Batman's car and George Clooney shows up. And he's like, who the hell are you? He's like, you're not Batman. And then he's just smiling at him. And I'm thinking, okay, why is it that every, everything else is changing but not him? Shouldn't, we be get, shouldn't he change and be the TV Flash? It's just so ridiculous. The whole thing just sucked. Just god awful, man. Avoid at all costs. I don't know what else to tell you. It is just it, it doesn't feel like a movie either. It just feels like a big montage. It's like, hey, look, it's Barry. He's running around and saving oh oh at the beginning too. This was another thing that didn't make any sense. So um some hospital is like getting blown up or something and these babies are flying out and he's running around getting all the babies and then he gets all the babies and he gives it to this nurse and she's just screaming for no reason it's the stupidest thing ever i'm like why is this lady screaming at him like this he saved all the babies and she can't even be fucked to say thank you or anything she's just screaming at him at the top of her lungs, and he's just like, oh, okay, and then he runs off. And you know what the, the thing that concerns me is James Gunn said before this came out that he's seen this movie, and he said it was the, the best DC movie ever. We are so fucked. We are totally fucked when it comes to DC, man. Just garbage. Fucking garbage, man. So I can tell you. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, the dad. He gets the dad free on there, too. Let's see. Feora. Huh. There. That, that's how I'd rate the flash. No, I don't want to sign in. I want to go back to the fucking page. Let's see here. Yes, they, they, they show Christopher Reeve. That was awesome. What a mind fuck. I already rated this, you bastards. Why does it keep doing this? I'm not going to rate this piece of shit again. 
George Reeves, yeah, Christopher Reeves, yeah. Yeah, there's the original Supergirl. They had her on there. Th this, this poor gal, man. This was the worst Supergirl in history. Let's see if they show her in... Um Yeah, see, see how good she looks here. Why couldn't, why couldn't she look like this? They chop all her hair off and make it look like a fucking dyke. Look at this. It looks like shit. Yeah, see, she looks good there. They couldn't give us that superwoman though, huh? Fucking garbage. Garbage movie, man. Let's see. No, why does it keep going back to this? I'm trying to. No, I want to go back to the flash. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't think I'd watch this again. It was just garbage. Complete fucking garbage, man. Two two of these assholes. I can barely stand one of these fuckheads. This fucking guy's a total piece of shit, too, man. Running around choking women and doing all this. He threw a chair at a pregnant lady's head. I can't believe they still went through with this. What a joke. Anyways, I don't have much else to say. It is just one of the worst movies I've ever seen, man. Yeah, she can't even fight Zod at all, man. He, like, stabs the fuck out of her, nearly kills her three times. It's just so ridiculous. And Batman, who has no powers, is fighting Kryptonians. They don't even give him Kryptonian brass knuckles or nothing. He's just bare-fisting it. It's just retarded. I mean, he looks cool. I'll give him that, but... It just sucks, man. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. I'm, I I can't go on anymore about this garbage. It's just too depressing. It's just a, one of the worst movies ever, man. That's all I can say. <laughs>